while making this video with the inset map that looks like a GPS route. I learned a few things about Google Earth and a few tricks. I'd like to share those with you in this uh, tutorial. I'm going to go to Tools, GPS, I'm going to import from a file. It's important to select KML line strings because I could not find a way to edit KML tracks in the same detailed manner. And I'm going to import the whole day's GPX that I have. It's loaded a pretty long track into temporary places. It gives me a track that has a set of points and a path. So I want to zoom in on the section that I want to record and it's this section up this hill. So let's start from about here. And I want to remember 3389 and the time. And I'll go up to where we get to the top of the hill here. And I'll remember 3445 and it's three minutes later, um, 141738. So what I want to do is just only have the points including those and select 3389, just like that. Shift click on the beginning and delete all those points and I'll go to 3445 and select all the points after that and delete those points. So now you should see that I just have the points, the arrows going up this final climb of the hill. I'm going to turn off the path and turn off that path. What I want to do is copy the points as tracks. So copy as tracks. Go up to my tracks and do a paste. So now I get a list of points. I'm going to rename this to part two. Now I'm going to want to show this like it was a GPS file track, like it was on a GPS, so I like it to look like it's purple. And a line that's going to be six wide. Now if I select this and play a tour. It should zoom in and play the tour I want to play. So that looks like the sort of tour I want. Now I don't want to show the points so I'm going to turn those off. And Looking at the preferences for the tour, under touring, I'm using a camera range of 800 meters. On uh, a longer section of road, I probably would be uh, up higher and um, different, speed, different speed for uh, a longer section. But for this shorter section that's only about a mile long, and three minutes up this twisty road, I'm going to use 800 meters. And uh, my 
video that this is going to be inset on is at four times real speed. So I'm going to try uh, four times real time. Uh, I know that the GPX file has data points two seconds apart, so I think I'll stick with time between trains, keyframes two seconds. I'm not really sure if that's important. I want it to be high fidelity, so I set that. So I want to do a route like that. So let's um, play this again. So I don't really like that part two showing there. So let's change the style on the label to zero. That way, when I play the tour, it won't have that label on there. So this will create a file, a tour that is at four times normal speed, so it should take a little under a minute. Yep, 54 seconds. So let's save that as gross walker part two. So there is our tour. Now to use Google's Movie Maker, I want to get everything unselected. I have to close this so we're not in the middle of a tour anymore. That gives us Movie Maker. I want to use a save tour, and so Gross Glockner Part 2 is the one that we just created. I'm going to save that as an H.264. I want it uh, HD quality. And since my video off the motorcycle action cam is 24 frames a second. I'm going to select that here. You might select something else for yours, and I'm going to use picture quality high. So now I create the movie, and it's going to replay this. It needs to move to the right location. Now it may be recording creating a movie that's HD, so part of it is off the screen here while it's recording. We'll wait and see what we produce. But it doesn't look like it's writing the line like I was expecting with the same settings. So there's the end of that recording. Let's go look. So it just looks black in QuickTime. So after coming back into Google Maps, I'm turning on the route and the tour, and I'm going to use Movie Maker, and I'm going to pick my tour there. And this time I'm going to try MPEG MP4. Still going to go with the same frames per second and create movie and array it. So I need both the tour to play back and I need to have the track selected so that it, its settings are used.
that created a movie. Which is just what I want for insetting into another video. Even though I can see this MP4 on my Mac, when I bring it over to my iPhone, and this is iPhone 11, iOS 13, uh, the video is plain white and won't import into LumaFusion as you might expect, which is what I was using for this video. And so it needs to be processed before I can use it. So back to the Mac. I was able to use VLC to convert the MP4 into a usable format. Not sure why the MP4 doesn't work as output from Google Earth, but what I did was open it in VLC. Let's stop this from playing. And select convert. It does take a little while to process. There's the progress down here. What I found was this solved my problem. It created a smaller file. Um, I must have lost some quality, but it's good enough for the embedded map that I want in my final video. Okay.